Canaanites is because we don't see our God very clearly. Remember the first thing about salvation? Turn back with me to Acts 26. Jesus explains salvation in Acts 26, 18. In fact, if you have one of those red letter editions, you'll notice this is one of those red verses that actually captures the words of Christ, although all scripture is the spirit of Christ and the prophet speaking. But for those that like especially to underline what Christ said, Acts 26, 18 is Paul quoting Jesus Christ himself, the author of salvation. And he said the first thing that salvation does is it opens our eyes to see the real world, the spiritual dimension, to see God and his kingdom and his word. Those are Christ's words. Acts 26, 18. Paul's recounting, giving his testimony. He's telling us what Jesus said to him on the, the Damascus Road when Jesus personally intersected with his life and, and he responded to Christ. And he says in verse 18, Jesus said, this is your ministry, Paul, to open their eyes in order to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God that they may receive forgiveness of sins and an inheritance among those who are sanctified by faith in me. And there's seven different aspects of salvation described there. The first being that we have opened eyes when we're born again. So we were saved to see, to see God, to see Christ, to see him in his word, to see his kingdom, to see what life is really all about. We were saved to see. But what can keep us from seeing Jesus in daily life? Well, Jesus answers that question in one of his most sobering postcards. You remember the one to the final church called Laodicea. In chapter 3, if you want to turn to the end of the Bible now with me, Revelation 3, in verse 17, I want you to read Christ's postcard. A little short mini letter, epistle. Jesus wrote seven epistles. And those seven epistles were to the church. It was a literal church in the first century. And may well be a prophetic look at the very age in which we live. Here is what Jesus says to each of us who live in these dangerous times of great comfort, amazing wealth, unbelievable security and freedom to make unlimited choices that's when we live this is what Jesus says in Revelation 3 look at verse 17 to the church at Laodicea he says because you say I am rich have become wealthy and have need of nothing and do not know that you are poor and wretched and blind and naked I counsel you to buy from me gold refined in the fire that you may be rich and white garments that the shame of your nakedness may not be revealed and anoint your eyes with eye salve that you may see. In Revelation 3 and verse 17, Jesus is warning us to be careful of three grave dangers. And especially for those who are over 50, these dangers are more, <clears throat> excuse me, more virulent than melanoma or even MS or MRSA and VRSA, staphylococcus, you know, the, the, uh, the two vancomycin-resistant forms of staph that are now killing poor students in locker rooms around our country. 